Hello, I'm live again. Gosh, never seem to be off here at the moment, do I? Um, it's haul time. Uh, just as a bit of a heads up, it's clothes. If clothes aren't your thing, this may not be for you. Um, oops, I was bagging and sorting and doing what I should be doing, and I thought, you know what, it'd be much more fun. Do a bit of a live and show you what I picked up today. Uh, two venues, one from a contact friend of mine that I've been buying stock from for quite some time now. Um, I spent £30 with her and got some nice bits and pieces. The other was a charity shop that was having a £2, everything for £2 kind of sale going on. And one of the problems with these places is that they tend to end up with a certain amount of stock that just sits there, even at those prices. So I'm not picking up as much as I did when I first started doing this, but I'm still getting good stock. So I'm still happy. <laughs> so um, I'll wait for if anyone pops in. I should have put something out there really to say I was doing this. Bit of a silly thing to do, but you can always watch it back. Oh, no, there's three people watching. I just haven't seen anything on the chat yet. Do say hello. What's that show? Show what? No, that's just me. Right, okay, we'll kick, kick off anyway. Because really, I should be doing other things. Not talking to you, watch and distracting myself. Um, right, this, everything that I got here, and we can count them up how many items there were in the end, um, a £30 spent. So, what did I pick up? Well, it's not summer anymore, but sometimes I can't help myself. Uh, this is, this is a label that you won't find that often, but when you do, it's always quite nice to pick it up. Hang on, let me do this, because I've got you squeezed into a corner. It's not right, is it? There we go. Oh, God. Sorry, seeing myself too close up there. Never a good thing. Oh, hello, Sam. Hello, Granny Kate. There we go. I think you know this. Excuse my nails. Um, Mage. Um, I know it's one of those anthropology brands, but it, and it's a cold shoulder thing too, but it's in a quite cute design, so I picked it up anyway. It's minimal pennies. I think it might be silk, actually. I do sell mage stuff it's not a fast mover i'll say that for it but it does sell where are we lots of stuff here everything except all the fabric is i know i'm getting old but the writing gets smaller and smaller on these labels it's tiny smaller than mouse type oh okay it's viscose it's not silk certainly felt very silky quite a cute little thing anyway Boho, it's probably had its season now, although apparently we're getting summer again on Monday. Just Monday, but you know. Oh, who else is that? Oh, Mandy's in. Hello, Mandy. Nice to see you. Hello, Jewel. <laughs> Hello, Susan again. Hello, we meet again. We had a, lov had a lovely lunch. We met up and had a nice lunch. And it was glorious. And I was so full, I didn't eat anything else apart from an apple for the rest of the day. Uh, went to a lovely restaurant. Um, there are a few of them around the south called Have It. It's a Turkish restaurant. And we've had the Tunbridge one here for quite some time. And it's lovely. Their food is lovely. And we sat outside and it was almost normal. <laughs> it was near almost normal as I'm ever like to get. Um, I do seem to be selling some menswear at the moment. So men are buying spring and autumn. That's when men get their clothes. Uh, Gant, of course, anyone will know that name. A uh, nice quality brand. This is a lamb's wool. It needs a sweater shave. It's bobbly. But as far as I could tell, that's my hairs on it. As far as I could tell, no holes. Now, plainly, it's very difficult to do. No, I stand corrected. It's going to have a small hole repaired. But we'll see. You know, this was sort of picking from bin bags, you know, <laughs> kind of going through. So that has does need a repair. So we'll put that there. Usually if you've got a very, very dark and thick wool, it's easy enough to, to do a little repair and it's not a problem, I declare them, obviously. Oh, hello, Tom. Good afternoon, sir. Nice to see you. And it is clothes. I'm just warning you. It is clothes. Um, not everybody's interested in clothes. You may know this. You may know this label, Tom. I don't know. Or I may have switched you off completely from it all. This is Gant. Again, this is the grey version of a sweater, needs a good debobble. Praying to God it hasn't got any holes in. No, this one seems to be all right. Jolly good. Men's sweaters, Gant's a good brand, people do pick them up. And hello, Darrell. 
a good sweater shave. There's something quite therapeutic about shaving a sweater. Nope, that's just my phone. Wouldn't be wouldn't be a pick for me without a bit of cashmere. This is cashmere, this is white stuff. Very pink. Not my colour at all. Very pink cardigan with pockets is in the front. And as far as I could ascertain, no holes. I don't despair if cashmere does come to hold because I tend to still sell it for crafting. And it will still sell. I'll always very, be very clear about any issues that these things have. But no, that's all good. It's even got its little little bird on it. Just clothes, yeah, you see. I, I try and put it in the title. I do try and warn. Because I don't always do clothes. <coughs> but these two places that I go to, it is clothes. Another Gantt. There we go. It's a real run of them. When you find one, you find loads. Kind of purpley colour one. Again, I'll go over these very carefully to make sure they ain't got holes. But, well, it's so purpley, actually. It's sort of blue. It's a very odd colour. I mean, it's a nice colour. Don't get me wrong. At least these are men's clothes. I mean, there are so many. Lots of people don't like men's clothes. I personally think men's clothes are far more sensibly sized, uh, quality control designed than women's clothes. They just seem to be generally better made. So no fair, obviously, from a female point of view. Oh, hello, Anne. <laughs> right. OK, so that was a bit of a jumper extravaganza there. This, this is what happens now. These are I'm still getting the keep fit stuff in because I think yeah, it's, it seems to sell. These are Adidas, Adidas. There we go. They've got it on the leg. I like the ones with the big obvious in your face logos. And apparently other people think those are a good thing. So I've got them. They're fine. So there's those. Oh, then we have Under Armour. I'll always pick up Under Armour because kids at school have to go outside and do things like cross-country running and rugby and all kinds of horrors like that. Um, trying to find what size. These are very small, but quite long. So they might, I would imagine they were more bloke design, judging from the arrangement of them. But I'll work out what's what. I'll probably bundle these up, to be fair, if they're all the same size. There's a pair of long, what they call skins. Um, like I say, I know how expensive these things are new. Um, there's another pair here that seem to be about the same size. Also a long pair of skins, but this time with a line down the side. These things are invaluable in winter. But if you've got a skinny kid who basically gets cold the minute the temperature drops below about 20 degrees. Now these are a bigger size. Oh, I see what happens is people take the labels out because they're annoying. Um, these are a slightly bigger size of a similar design. Ack, okay, there you go. Even people who've been reselling for many, many years, cock up, hole in leg, didn't see it. So, but you see, if you're buying things cheaply enough, and time is of the essence, and you've got to really get a move on because the lady I was buying these from uh, is at a wedding this afternoon, and I was in a bit of a hurry, um, that's going to happen, but like I say, it happens to us all, it's not the end of the world. Um, so I'll just discount that for my calculations. More menswear. What are we doing? This won't offend anyone's eyes, Tom. Uh, Ralph Lauren. I mean, the reason I picked this up is because it's extra large. I do you like picking up the bigger sizes? I'll check for pits because I haven't got time to be dealing with sweaty pits. And these looked good, so it's a very plain. You can usually tell if it is real from I mean, the quality of the horse. And the pony, gosh, I can't show you anything. He's quite distinct, and there are sites that tell you what to look for if you want to be sure if something's genuine or not. But as most of you will already know, you know, good labelling, lots of labelling, and quality of any embroidery and stitching is usually a pretty good giveaway. So that was an extra large. Okay, so that was the, that was the men's from this bundle. Then we get on to the women's. <laughs> um, I picked this up because it was kind of a bit vintage in its style. Little bolero shrug. People like these to put over things. That's got bows. It's got bows on it. I mean, 
it, it needs the uh, field removing from it, clearly. Bit of a debobble. Actually, it doesn't, look, it doesn't look as bad as it seems to on screen. But people like these sort of kitsch. Yeah, I did bring half the field removed. Kitsch bows and things. Rather cute, bit 50s style. I don't know the brand. Free size. Good, I could. As those of, the, of those people out there who like their French, that means side by side. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, I picked this up because I, I, I'm happy this morning because I actually sold a Ted Baker suit. £100 Ted Baker endurance suit in tip top condition. So people are clearly a either going for interviews or having to go back to work, possibly in a slightly larger girth than they left. Um, I'm very pleased to wake up. Excuse me, eating my own hair. Very pleased to wake up to that this morning. That's all right, Gaz. Nice to see you. <laughs> Good to do your packing. I did mine earlier. That's why I've got the luxury of this. So this is a fairly, I like the material on this. It, it feels as good as it looks. Very soft and silky. Uh, when someone bothers to dry clean something, you know, it was obviously worthwhile doing. This is French Connection and it's a size 16. Um, but it's just a really nice nick and it's a very plain style dress that can be layered up with something good, good kind of work stuff and very smart. And it's black, so hey, happy days. What was in here? Something else I picked up. Ah, more athletics. Please, God, don't let there be a hole in these. These are Nike dry fit. I think the, the dry fit ones, I do like the Nike professional, but I liked these because they have like no, they don't have a big bunchy waistband. And anyone that likes to exercise doesn't always want a big bunchy waistband, but it's very, um, it's actually like a super, they looked really a good quality pair, not the usual ones. Um, and, a, and a decent size as well. They're quite a, quite a big size of an extra large. So I thought that's a good thing because um, good nick, I didn't use much, and some enjoy those. I mean, there are lots of different models of things. If I'm getting stuff cheaply enough, I don't mind. Now, the next three things you may need to avert your eyes because they're quite bright. You know, warning, turn down your screen. I'll start with the least offensive first. This is my, oh my God, that's so crazy, someone's going to absolutely love it. Now, the reason I knew they'd probably quite like it is because the name, this is a good shirt brand, Hawes and Curtis. Um, it's a good shirt brand, but these are women's shirts, strangely enough. And they, someone's dry cleaned these. I don't know why they dry clean them, because you can machine wash them. Somebody had more money than sense, clearly. Um, so I'm assuming that they, these are not silk and they're all undone. But I mean, get a bunch of that pattern there. Paisley. It's a proper Paisley moment. And what clinched it for me is that the shirts, well, there are three of them, not all the same pattern, but they all have the pussy bow tie at the front. So they all have that tie neck detail, which is kind of in at the moment. Um, I don't think these aren't vintage. They are definitely modern, but they're well made. There's a shirt there in eye popping paisley. I mean, I could job lock these up, but I, I think they're crazy enough where some are quite happy to buy it on its own. This one is quite an eyeful. They were all actually quite good sizes. They're 16 as well. That's nice to have. This one is a very scarf print. I'll describe that as a scarf print. Um, same thing, it has the pussy bow blouse, a slightly puffy sleeve, which again is, you get the puffy detail on the sleeve, that's that's very much of, of now. So these are, these are kind of like, I'm going to go back to work and I might have to wear a skirt and a blouse, but I'm going to wear a blouse and blind the office. Um, <laughs> I'm assuming, you know. And the last one, which actually I find quite offensive <laughs> to look at. It's the wrong colour combination. Yep, that's as bright as it looks. Another scarf print. And purple and yellow. Who's going to wear purple and yellow? By the gods, that's going to take some of the way out. So these are all a fitted style. They're all a size 16. 
And they were really rather fabulous. I mean, can you imagine rocking that in an office setting? You'd be done for wearing a loud and offensive shirt, wouldn't you? But they're silky. And there were people that would particularly like silky texture blouses. We'll leave, let that one rest. So I have a feeling that those will actually sell quite well. Oh, hello, Sue. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, that was that was really the fine. So when I think I paid thirty pounds for that, one, two, three of those, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Okay, so including, well, not counting the one that was a fail because that's in the bin now. Uh, 15 items for 30 grid, that works out about £2 each. So, a sound investment there. I don't think we'll have any problems selling any of that. You would not believe my office right now. It's absolutely ramming with stuff because I've scheduled so many things, but now they need to be packed away and filed away, which I haven't done yet. Because I'd rather chat to you lot than, than work, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. <laughs> ah, right, okay, so this stuff was from my charity shop. Who doesn't have a pair of over the knee boots? Oh, yes, definitely. Leather uppers. I mean, you see that and you're like, oh, yes, please. Very little wear to the back because that's. You know, you can get the most gorgeous pair of boots, but if they've got worn down backs, you know, you're looking at 20 odd quid to heal them. And I know that because I've paid that. Now, in terms of brand, these weren't an amazing brand, but they were nice. They were size sevens, but too big for me. Shame. The brand I don't know, and you probably can't see it. Lucini, 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 I think that is. So that sounded Italian, which was promising. Leather, all day long. I love selling leather. Leather, silk, velvet, corduroy, if it had a push. Um, <laughs> I, like, I like those sort of fabrics. Um, but yeah, these, these are really rather cool. Just nice flat boots, perfect for the coming season. And over the knee was very much a thing last year. And I think it's, all, I think it's never been, never gone out really. It's always a thing. Um, right, so I'm just wondering where to put things there. That's the other one. Yep. Make sure you've got the pair. <laughs> yeah, nice. I'll get a bit of a, a Dr. Martin's um, polish on them. Oh, hello, Alice Harris. <laughs> Sue, Sue Aaron has gone into, gone into spasms of ecstasy there <laughs> over leather. Right, now these I picked up. Because they're, um, again, a good, sensible walking boot. Everyone's been encouraged to walk so much more, apparently. I'm being more reluctant to, to use buses. So walking boots are going to be a thing, I'm sure of it. These are slightly squared off toes. A nice wedge heel, not high. Good and chunky. It says Wave Reflex on the bottom. I don't think that's the brand. But I saw these and thought, you know, you can't go wrong with it. So let's actually have a proper look. Again, these were two pounds for a pair, so I was kind of not too not too worried about the brand necessarily. Now, what's happened here? I don't know if someone's put in or taken out. Oh, nah, someone's put in a Anina, if you know what I mean. Which is annoying because. Oh, I see. No, hang on. That can come out. Excuse me, digging around. Oh, I see the inner hush puppies. These are, but the inner needs sticking back down again. That's fine. I've got something to do that with. The inner's moved. They are hush puppies, and they are a size 36. That doesn't look like a 36. Prittler. Help me. 36. I think they are size six. One way to find out. Excuse me. I don't I can't say that. Yeah, maybe I need to undo them. Okay. Yep, those are a six, definitely. Because I can get my hooves in them. Not 
half along. And they are six, so that's a good size to sell. I am actually selling, selling quite a few of my fly. Well, I, I've got all these sort of fly boots and I don't wear very many of them. I go back to the same old faithful ones. So I'm, I've drafted them with a, with a view to listing them, whether I change my mind or not. Who knows? So there'll be a few quid in those. Perfectly decent boots. I just need to sort out the inners on them, which have gone a bit. Mm. Okay. I don't know what that means. Put that over there right now. Right, here we go, more clothes. Ooh, this is a slightly eye popping purple. It's a, it's a bit of an unusual design. This jumpers go, it's kind of like got a boat neck and get these inserts in. Um, but it, it is Jaeger. This is a vintage Jaeger label, so I don't think that's not the modern label. Um, and it's 100% wool. And this is a sort of medium weight knit. So I thought, yeah, you know, for two quid, there's money in that. It, it really looks, looks unworn, to be perfectly honest. You know, there's absolutely no hint of a of a bobble anywhere on that. Oh, excuse me. Whoa. Makes me itch. Yeah. Trust me to find the, find the biggest thing in the shop. But then there's money in coats. I know a lot of people don't like to do them, but if you can, you've got room to store them and you get them cheaply enough, you will make good money on them. This is... A St. Michael Marks and Spencer, so this is probably 90, early 90s, something like that. But it's a beautiful long grey coat, um, all lined, absolutely nothing wrong with it. It feels absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's kind of a very straight up and down design. I can show you properly, can I? There we go. It's that would be pretty full length on most people. It's 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 kind of hovering above my ankles, but then I'm not most people. I mean, if anyone out there is selling size 12 trainers, <laughs> my son's just told me he's grown out of his last pair, which he's had for about all three weeks. It's going to be a size 12. Oh, I see. Is that an unusual hard to wear if you're not very thin? Well, that's quite that's interesting because this, in terms of size, this isn't. A particularly small oh to, to fit a 38 a 36 inch 36 inch bust is a 12 isn't it so there's only a 12 i would imagine yeah it's just a bit unusual really it's not going to suit everyone i think it's true to say oh, i don't know drop something on the floor so i really rather like this coat and it's wool blend it's not completely wool but it had some cashmere in it as well so yes the purple, the purple jumper yeah it is an unusual design, which may be why it never got worn, or didn't get worn much. No, I've got to work out how to fold this coat up now. Yeah, it's one of those sort of collars that's kind of like that. I really liked the feel of it. It felt like good quality, and I think that's what, you know, I don't pick up lots of big coats. Um, I like um, a Mac, obviously. Macs are good. Oh, I do like these sort of coats when they're nice. I'm right, going to put that there for a minute. Don't want to get my piles muddled up because that would never be good. Oh, yes, another silky satiny blouse. This isn't as blue as it looks. It's actually more of a turquoise colour. Again, with the pussy bow blouse, is there something happening here? I'm quite convinced about this being a nice model of things to wear. Um, it hasn't got a particularly balloon sleeve, but it, it's, got, it's got quite a nice sleeve on it. Very silky, and this is M&S collection again. It's nothing extraordinary. I don't. There's a lot of M&S I wouldn't wouldn't pick up because I just don't think there's the money in it. If I see something, it's a great colour. This is a size 20 as well. That was the other reason. Being in a good size, beautiful colour. Someone's going to look amazing in that. Very smart. A bit secretary, you know, going on there. Uh, next. Oh, we are getting near the bottom now. Right. Again, I don't pick up many suits, and maybe because I sold a suit today, I was like, oh, pick up a suit. Um, I haven't looked up this brand, so I don't know, but I thought it was a very plain two buttons. Um, oh, no, it's Marks and Spencer. Why well, do I think that was a different brand? 
I might be able to look into something else. Uh, this is Marks and Spencer, but Marks and Spencer is slightly vintage. So it's a nice big jacket. Looks in very, very good condition, or it would be if I hadn't just dragged it across the floor. And um, oh, I've got another one. That's one. I've actually bought two suits. And it, it's a big size. But, you know, when they're two pounds, you just know. And it's quite a big size and it was quite a long as well. So I've got, I tend to steer clear of short length suits. Anything that's in short length. Not because there aren't short people that want a suit, by any means. Here we go. St. Michael from Marks and Spencer. Made in the UK. This is a 38 inch waist. So that's quite a size there. It's going to fit someone, but it's got a 33 inch inside leg. Which I think is the longest that MS do or did. So that's a long, and the jacket as well is also vintage St. Michael, part the same suit, and this is a 42 long. So useful for poor people do find it hard to get things, especially with the decent sleeve length and all of that, Gubbins. So it's got, it's got to be more than two pounds in it. Probably more of a summer weight one. These I picked up more out of curiosity and as an experiment. Uh, this one actually has its tags with it. And this this brand I've seen around and I've not really done anything with it, but they were new, so I thought, why not? Jack Murphy, horrible colours. I mean, to my eyes anyway, this is a sort of baby quilted. But you know, it's probably got its following. Uh, what size is this? That's a size 10. So a bit of a gamble, but it's oh, for two quid. New. Worth a try. Try the brand out. I'll pick that one up and then it's little friend in pink. Um the tags are well, there's just that left from the tag, so I think this may have been tried on. Um and not done up properly, clearly, by the look of things. There we go. God, look at that for a lining. Um, that also is a 10. Is the same person that bought them. But they're kind of very lightweight jacket things. Not my taste at all, but that was when I first went in and I was beginning to think I wasn't going to find anything because I recognised all the stock that I'd seen there a week ago. And the last thing is a suit. Yeah, it's a nice colour. It's a beige. It's it's neutral. Very easy. Very easy. Now this I like the look of. This was the first suit I picked up. This looked like quality to me. It's a nice suit. It's a single button, which might make it a bit more vintagey. But you know, when things have have stuff like you know little places to put your buttonholes, you know, your flowers and things. Um, Thinking that sleeve seemed quite short, but it just felt like a nice quality thing. Um, the make of it, yeah, now the pockets haven't been opened, so I'm thinking that maybe this might be an unworn one. Yeah, no one's like no one's undone the pockets. Um, felt like a nice fabric, that's all I can say. And when you get details like this inside, where you've got rainbow colored stitching, I mean. And it's and the name of the thing is Gabrielle Moon. It's all over the lining, which feels fantastic. I just thought this is quality. I can feel it. I can see how it's made, how it's constructed, it's been done well. And there's there's the brand. I mean, it's probably God knows. I'm going to come across it very often. I've never seen it before. Uh, and this is a 48. So again, it's a big size. Gabrielle Moon exclusive London. It might be nothing, but it just looked. And felt nice. It's got some spare buttons with it, that's always handy. I just think it probably never got worn. And it's a really nice blue, it's a bluey grey colour, more blue than grey. Um, really nice. And that's the jacket, and then there are the trousers that came with it. And of course, when one's buying men's suits, you do have to check quite carefully. Everything is as it should be, and there's no rips and things. And I've made that mistake before. Looked over a jacket, grabbed the suit, and then found the trousers to be shredded, I think is the polite way of putting it. Um, 
Yes, and that was a 48, and then these trousers are a 42. So it's hard to, hard to picture the fellow who wore this, it's true, but again, quite tall, quite long. So I don't mind if they sit. Suits do tend to sit for a while, but when they go, they can bring good money, so I don't mind. But I thought that was rather lovely. What I ought to do is look up, is have a look and see what the fabric is. Because it just feels like something, it feels like it's got silk in it. Which I don't suppose it has for one minute. But it would be nice if they tell you what was in it. Fabric special, designed by Gabriel Moon. Doesn't say much about the uh, actual composition of the fabric though. And knowing what flipping stats are at the moment, um, you know, they're putting in this specifics. I need to know what you're made of. How annoying. Hello Joy. <laughs> You've just come in at the, at the very last. I was just showing off a, a man's suit. I like men's clothing. I like the way it's made. Does that make me very strange? No, I don't think so. It's better constructed. You get things like this. Oh, you probably can't really see it, but it's rainbow coloured stitching. Everything's well constructed. Pockets are properly constructed, made double seams on them so that it doesn't all just shred apart when you actually put something in the pockets. Oh, I, I kind of hope one day that somebody designs women's clothes as well as men's clothes are designed. You know, the pockets and, you know, sort of reinforcement at stress points so that they don't just fall apart. I, I shall dream on. <laughs> Maybe it's linen. I don't know. It could be linen because it's creasing up quite nicely as I've just done that. So there we go. That's me haul. I will crack on with my filing because that's what I really should be doing. But I thought we'll come on and show me bits and pieces as it were. OK, so I will probably see you and on with another haul. So thank you for joining me and uh, I hope you all have a really good day and a lovely weekend. And enjoy that warm weather that's coming because I can't wait. It's a bit chilly at the moment. Tatty bye now. Let me do this the right way. In the broadcast, yes I do. Awkward waving. <laughs>